All right, well, it's Monday morning. We've had a lovely weekend with the daughter, but she's gone home now. So, as you can see, back to work. Um, the forecast is sun and rain. So we're kind of chancing it, really, but we thought we can at least get it raked out and ready to go. So, as I said, I don't even know if you can see me. As I said on Friday, probably, um, I'll be starting on the next couple of rows above. So I've just started raking out over there. I've just gone and got the saw to start on that little bit of ivy to then free up this row. So that's what we're doing. And there's Ben. Off down to the heap at the bottom of the land. isn't it? I think it's sort of a little piece. Oh no, that's cut. This, this one turns into yeah. a small bit but disappears. If that, that, if that was wedged. cut, what that piece? Over here. Yeah, that was might be that. that. Yeah. I can't see where that one's going. I think all it's done is just wedged Tucked against it. Air. I don't think it's going in. And there don't seem to be anything else going in. Do you want me to nip this bit? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> bits as well. It's holding the stone there. Yeah. Another one there. Can it cut there? I'll cut yeah, cut it there. Weird noise, that's that one. Elephant. Right. This is concrete. Mm, a few there. little yeah. bits and pieces, yeah. Chuck that you want to get up on here? No, it's all right. For the extra height. Ready? Yeah. On the floor. Go on then. A lot of soil really. Isn't it? Soil and roots. Lots and lots. That's alright. I'll get this bit strengthened up first and then I'll knock all the stuff out of there. Is that loose? A little bit, bad. yeah. Looks like it's soil holding that one in. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Good morning. Right. Let's just shut this door. That is so very bright. Let's turn it around that way. Right. So if I turn you around, there's Ben. Morning. And he is. That is very bright. Yeah, he's making it look pretty now. The log store. It looks great. It's still got the ply on it because we need to get some tin for the roof but he's now just reusing some of the old wall panels or the partition panels from in the house 
just to make it look a little nicer and a little more refined. So that's what Ben's doing at the moment. Surprise, surprise, I'm still continuing on the wall and I will bring you around there shortly. But it's a beautiful day, isn't it, it's today? It's a day. Um, when did you say? Friday? We for got, rain? Yeah. Yeah, Friday for rain. So we've got some nice days coming up. Yeah. So we'll just keep on going out here all the time. We can. It's nice, yeah. Because yeah. at some point it will turn. Let's face it, it's, what is it, October the 2nd? Second. Second. Yeah, and Lucas came out earlier on, actually, to say that tomorrow, I think it is, yeah, it's been tomorrow. exactly two years since we came and viewed this house, which we can't actually believe two years has no. passed on by just like that. No. Obviously, we had to wait another six months until we could come and see it again. And the only difference out here is it now looks a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks messier than to it did. To whereas before it was just all overgrown grass, yeah. now it just looks yeah. a mess. It was beautifully green everywhere. But when we say beautifully green, you couldn't see the outbuildings no, it's because true. they were completely covered, weren't they? Yeah. There was a tiniest little, uh, I think you could get in the doorway just about. Yeah, it's very, so, very, yeah. very different. But yeah. It does look less tidy yeah. now. But one day it will look like that again. It will. Well, not with the ivy all over the outbuildings. No. Anyway, I'm going to walk you over to where I am. Let's grab the stand. Yeah, he's going to make some noise. And I will come around here because it's nice and peaceful around here. Still in the shade, but I'll flick you around shortly before I put you on the stand just to show you where I'm up to at the moment. There we go. Let me stand back, probably going to get the sun, yeah, so you're probably not going to be able to see it properly. But I am up to the base of the tiny little window at the moment. I'm just going to go up a couple of courses at a time. So I've got this patch that I'm doing at the moment and then we'll raise the trestles up probably onto the next level here and then I'll start there was a lot of ivy came off oh Ben's tidied it up already and he good um, so then I'll take these bits off get a little bit higher we're getting closer to the top it's very exciting right actually before I stick you down I can't remember if Ben showed you that he finished this little patch where he was doing the chipping. So all of that's done. There's all of these stones of, of what have fallen off of this building. Because um, originally, if you've looked, if you've seen our aerial photograph of what the house was like and the surrounding buildings, this used to come out to here and then join up with that. It was a complete building at one point. So there's a lot of stones there but he did a really good job and I had to admit I was doubtful that he'd be able to chip most of it but he has and it's looking really good. There you go. I was going to try and get you to sit in the sunshine but I couldn't get the camera far enough away. Hoping you can't hear my tummy rumbling through the mic.
we've had a couple of people say about filming the ivy being removed from the gable end um, I think I filmed a little bit I, f I was doing some again the other day and I thought oh I should have filmed this because it was just as it revealed around the window but I forgot so we're recording this little bit now I tend not to speak too much because I no. have to a bit concentrate precarious, on trying to get it bit. off and not cutting the wrong piece because we obviously need to leave the top portion pretty intact and strong because it's probably holding some of these stones in um, but this is just a, a small <coughs> well, say small this is the next portion that I'm going to start um, repointing so I'm taking it off as I go because then I'm not leaving any weakness um, to the whole of the gable so I'm just going to take these bits and pieces off and you'll get to see how just entwined everywhere that it is and it goes into the wall as well and you just have to be really careful not to pull the wrong piece so we take our time in doing this Does look nice. Yeah. Looks a lot cleaner. Well, that stone looks like it's held quite a bit, doesn't it? Which one? It's not. The one that's drops down. Yeah. I no, think it's, it's where it's dropped. Yeah. And that's where I wonder whether these, we know that's in. Mm. And we know that bit's in. But it does make you wonder whether the ivy is making it appear a lot further in. <laughs> So just as I've come outside, it's decided it's going to rain, which is always the way. So, the last time you saw me, I was dressing the log store. So, I've just put some panels up that end and that end there. This pallet was... The top of the pallet was on the inside, so I've just given it a, a pallet effect there and put some edges on. It's not exciting really, it's just showing you what I've done to finish it off. The roof still isn't finished. And there you go, it just looks, looks okay, but it's doing its job. The cats love it. They're always, there we go, in it, on it, passing the time of day. So that's what I've been up to. I personally haven't done a lot this week. It's uh, It's been Dawn working. Oh, you can just see Dawn. She's just through the window. There she is, waving. <laughs> um, now... We said, I think earlier in the week, the rain was coming. So we prepared for the rain coming and the gazebo's up. That's up behind over with cement mixer and the lime. We've been out and we've bought some more lime, different lime this time. Apparently it's posh lime. 
I'm not sure the difference between posh NHL and not posh NHL but apparently they use this in France uh, what is it Saint Astia maybe that's how I'll pronounce it anyway but yeah I've, I've not done a great deal to be honest tidied the log store um, oh, I've prepared prepared the old fireplace the Victorian fireplace from the living room remember the one we took out um, oh, a good few months ago now um, and the thought was we were just going to get a big log burner and put that in the living room but with some thought we may look at going for an insect stove and put the original actual Victorian part of the fireplace back in um, so hopefully you'll see that soon we're not sure it's going to work it's finding the right stove for it but that is the plan at the moment for the living room we know it's all flued up because you saw the video where the uh, flue liner went up the chimney that was back I don't know when but now winter's starting to come it's time we did something for heat in the living room um, so yeah I was preparing that to go back in the house other than that I don't really feel I've done a whole lot this week it's all been dawn So in readiness for the rain coming, yesterday being Friday, because it was supposed to rain a lot. So yesterday morning, Friday morning, we went right, we'll get some scaffold up and we'll put a tarp over the top so Dawn could carry on working, even though it's going to rain. Because I think really she's had enough of this gable end with how long it's taking. That was a, a nod. Yes. Um, it's not the job that she's had enough with it's the length of time it's taking it's so slow as you've you've seen in this video it doesn't matter how much i actually speed the work up it's very very slow taking the ivy off carefully is a a slow careful process so any oh i missed so anyway yesterday went right we'll get the we'll get the scaffold out ready and we started putting it up after a small accident with a scaffold pole landing on my head yes. a little bit of blood juice a lot of blood oh a lot of blood apparently <laughs> um and now a little bump on my head today um the hard hats came on and uh we finally got this rainproof for dawn so dawn's been out here most of the day and trying to get this little bit finished it certainly is a labor of love isn't it yeah yeah but it does look great unfortunately because Sorry, I didn't realize you were pointing at me. yeah no that's <laughs> fine you weren't picking your nose were you no I don't no think so, which is nice. yeah mm -hmm. but unfortunately with the the trellis and the, the scaffold now up you can't really see but hopefully with the um, with the rain cover now yeah yeah it does make it easier to carry on yeah you'll be able to carry on and yeah. might be somewhere near the very top yeah in the next video and i suppose i'll have to find something to do next week <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's something if it's raining it'll have to be something indoors so I'm going to leave Dawn to it. Oh! <laughs> what happened? Well, I choose a stone, I put it in, I think, oh, it's absolutely perfect. So I take it out and I put it down, and then I come to put it back and I think, oh, I can't remember which way around fit. I had it. But no. The trouble is, once you put some mortar in, it changes. It, it makes it a smaller hole. Yeah, it yeah. changes it. But now I've got to clean the stone again because it's a mess. <laughs> as we said on our last video we hit 
20,000 subscribers. I think we're just about to hit 20,300. If you haven't subscribed and you like watching a couple of 50 year olds <laughs> do what we do, please. Faff around. Yeah, faff and jump from this job to that job. Um, hit the subscribe button and, and give us a thumbs up as well on this video. No, you're supposed to say like because then like. it makes the button flash. Oh, I've got to say like. <laughs> I, I don't know if it works. It's supposed to. I, yeah, don't, know if it works. I don't know if it works. No. I've seen it on some videos. Oh well. And it flashes. Like this video. Yeah. Make <laughs> the button flash. And subscribe <laughs> and make your button flash. And we'll that see you. That sounded like you said unsubscribe. Please don't no, unsubscribe. No. Just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I might edit all of this out. We'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next, next Sunday. Sunday. Bye bye. bye.